Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we're going to look at one of the most found no-name clarinets out there. Malern was a company out of Paris, France, who made a lot of clarinets not only in their own name, but about a variety of names out there. Most of the times when you find a stencil that says made in France on it, it is probably a Malern clarinet. Today we're going to cover actually two of them, one a submission from an um, online request and another of one that I have here, which gets confused once in a while when they pop up with being a little block just by the name. Matter of fact, I bought one two a couple decades ago because of that. Uh, and we'll review that in just a minute now. Taking a look at the pictures, what we have here is we can see on just the bell and the barrel, it says Elkhorn, a division of Getson. Alcorn, Wisconsin. Getson, as you can tell, they didn't make their own clarinets. They also had a deluxe model, which I haven't seen yet. But this has some clear Malern identifiers. One is we look at the trail key guide. The trail key guide has a barrel shape, though a little bit conical, slotted. Whereas, as an example, Buffet is a round cylindrical, smooth round top, and fairly larger. And the Schreiber is cylindrical and thin like this. This also has a adjuster screw for the throat keys, and each throat key has its own post, so there's four of them. We have some more adjustable sliver keys and thick ring keys. If you look at the lower joint, you can see in this picture, the top pad cup is bent at the top. That allows it to get to the uh, tone hole. Here's a close picture of the top joint. No emblem on it. Actually, there could be one there, but not recognizable. Showing once again the adjuster, the barrel trill key guide. The next picture kind of shows you the thicker the thicker ring keys. Nothing special here at the register key. Back here we have four trill keys and with three uh, post sets for them. So one shares. Here's a good picture of the lower joint where you can see the bent on purpose arm of the top pad cup. So basically the post, if you notice the post is further down. So in order to have the post where it's at, they simply kink the pad arm. Nothing special here. This one has lifters, as you can see on the side keys here. Lifters versus a pin system. One thing to notice here is on the thumb rest, these screws are in the outer part of the thumb rest. Serial number E2629, made in France, made in France. Alcorn division of Getson. Of course, Getson was more famous for their trumpets and Doc Sevenson. What I wanna show here real quickly on my webpage, what's left of that is, is as I mentioned before, Malaren was known for serial numbers of A, B, C, D, and E. And you'll see this very common on the Buffet, Yvette, and Yvette Schaefer models because Malaren made those models for Buffet. But here we can see Malaren was kind of ahead of the games when it came to a slotted barrel trill key guide in Buffet. They were ahead of the game when it came to four posts for the throat keys, head of Selmer Pairs too. And of course, they had multiple serial numbers and multiple prefixes, which kind of makes no sense. They kind of overlap. I think there was different model numbers for different things. I really haven't done an analysis of that. And Malarin being a stencil, there's so many of them out there. Here we have a E3491, which is about 1946-ish from what I was told. So this one would have been before that. And puts it right at war time, so I figured either before and after the war. Here we can see one with an adjuster screw, one without. 
if we see the one without the adjuster screw, you can see how thick that key is. And that is similar to the thickness of the key, the key arm on the example we have. And here I show the Symphony model right here. So this to me, it definitely was a Malaren clarinet, especially the prefix and the top pad cup and the four posts for the throat keys, the slider trill key guide, all looks Malaren to me. What I want to show here now is this is a symphony clarinet. We can see more clearly on the bell. Symphony. It has a serial number of A29, really early. And it says, if you can read it at the very top here, we can get it on the camera. At the very edge, it says made in France. So what we see here actually is we do see an adjuster. This is actually a later model in A series adjuster. Get swooped key rings here, which makes it easy to adjust. Fairly thick throat key arm up there. Lower joint, we see lifters versus pins. Nothing special. And the key identifier up here, look at this top key arm, how this is bent. So it angles up. And another weird thing I just noticed is, as I mentioned before, is these screws are fairly to the edges of the uh, thumb rest there. So this kind of looks like the exact same clarinet. The Symphony brand I found out was actually a Sears brand. I bought this probably 20 years ago, I'm guessing. Um, either on Craigslist or the newspaper. <laughs> That's how long ago it was. But um, the name harkens back to a LeBlanc model. And of the few times I've seen this reference on the internet, people are wondering if it is a LeBlanc. Of course, I own LeBlancs, and truthfully, if you look at the key work, there's no similarity whatsoever. This thick key work is, is, is not professional level. It's definitely student level. There's nothing here that can, eat, can even be discerned as a LeBlanc clarinet. This is just a student level clarinet. Uh, matter of fact, I had it so, I've had it so long, I, it's just not even worth to, to repad or anything. I just kind of left it as is because it wasn't what I thought it was either. Luckily, I think I paid $29 for it back then. So really not much there sight unseen because of the name Symphony. So once again, we have a Malern made clarinet. And the person who emailed me, I gave him reference to the website. And I told him about Malern clarinets. And his serial number was, as I mentioned before, is either before or right after World War II. And looking at the identifiers and looking at my webpage, is like, well, that's basically what this is. And I remember in the early 70s at Sears, I remember they had display for clarinets and trumpets. That's what I remember at that time. And uh, this is probably one of them. <laughs> I have no idea how it plays. I don't think I've ever played it. It's well constructed. It's just really old and it's a student clarinet and might be good Kindle at some point. <laughs> Anyways, as I showed you the pictures with the gets in, it was Elkhorn, Wisconsin. There was a deluxe model that they had. I haven't come across one of those yet. But it is clearly to me a Malern made clarinet. So if you come across a clarinet that has a weird name on it, it says made in France. It's probably Malaren. There's other brands it could be, Martin Fariz and things like that. But Malaren really kicked out tons of clarinets. As I mentioned, they also made the buffet Yvette's and Yvette Schaefer's too. So if you ever have a clarinet with an A, B, C, D, or E prefix, it is probably a Malaren clarinet. So that's basically all I have for today is to help identify Malaren clarinets. They're out there by the tons. Weird names, you name it, or no names but they're out there. So once again, I want to thank you for listening to my ramblings. Any questions, comments, put them down below. Don't forget to give a thumbs up, like, subscribe, and share. You got to love the knowledge. Got to love life. 
You gotta love clarinets. See you next time.